Hi, just wanted to give everybody a little preview here of another one of my quality H and K firearms. Uh, if you're an H and K owner, hopefully you will recognize this firearm here, and hopefully you have acquired one from years past. This is an SP eighty nine. This is the notorious black firearm. Black firearms are bad. This gun here I purchased right around 1990. Uh, this is a 9mm by 19 recoil operated delayed locked roller locked bolt system. It has a 15 round magazine and I also have a 30 round magazine that also came with it. Uh, the rifling on this is six groove with constant right hand twist. Barrel length is 4.5 inches. Overall length is 13 inches. The sights are rotary aperture rear sight adjustable for windage and elevation and a hooded front sight. It has uh, optical sights, any telescopic or aiming device compatible with HK claw lock mounts. It weighs 4.4 pounds. Like I said, I purchased this gun around 1990 and it says it was made from 1989 through 1994. Uh, they had to redo the handguard up here in the front that made it compliant with the semi-automatic automatic weapons ban of 1989 so they had to reconfigure this. At one time I did see a H&K SPD-9 that did have a grip in the front here but it was quickly um, discontinued by ATF. Um, I don't know how many of these firearms actually made it into this country. Uh, I would assume probably not very many. It doesn't seem like six years, uh, that in six years that they, uh, I had never seen very many on the internet or on YouTube. Occasionally you see them for sale. Uh, I purchased this at a local store and I paid around $1,100 for it. Uh, currently, I see this gun on guns, um, gun websites, Guns International, different websites like that for sale, and used, it's bring sometimes up close to $5,000. Uh, new ones in the box, even a lot more than that. Uh, very high quality firearm by H&K. There's been many copies of this gun. Um, this is an MP5. Uh, variant. The MP5 had a collapsible stock or a fixed stock back here and was a longer barrel. But this firearm here is the pistol version. And like I said, uh, I'm glad I invested the $1,100 in it back then because it did not stay around very long. And it's highly collectible nowadays. I've shot it a few times here and there. Um, at the very front of the owner's manual, H&K tells how uh, you can achieve five shot groups of two to three point five inches at fifty meters when used with high quality ammunition. And it says you have just purchased one of the world's finest nine millimeter handguns. SP stands for sporting pistol. Like I said, this is just a pistol. That's how it was imported. And it was able to get into this country before the crime bill. Hope everybody enjoyed this sweet little video here. This is an awesome collectible firearm. Thanks.